guys and welcome back to my McNeeks. Today I'd like to show you one of my favourite hobbies. It's doing a Brazilian Portuguese martial art called Capoeira Angola. So for this video I'm going to start with five really cool fun facts about Capoeira Angola. And then I'm going to show you some moves and a sequence. And then to end the video, I'm going to tell you a really cool capoeira angola story. Let's get started. So let's start this video with our five facts about capoeira angola. Fact number one. Capoeira angola has been around for 500 years which is since about 1520. That's a long time ago. Fact number two is number one. Let me share five facts with you. Fact number one is that capoeira has been around since 1512. I mean 1520, which is when the British took the Angolans from Africa by ship to Brazil and took them slaves. Capoeira started. Fact number two is that capoeira is played in a circle. So there's a circle of people around the outside and then there are two people playing capoeira on the inside and the people on the outside sing and play music. The main instrument is the berimbau. And then there's also the pandeiro, which is this one. And the berimbau looks like this. So for the berimbau, there are three sizes. There's small, medium and big. So there's also something a bit crazy. They even use cowbells as an instrument. And there's also the heku heku. And the rhythm goes like this. Boom, boom. the people on the outside circle, the hoda, cheer you on while you're playing capoeira in the middle with music and singing. Fact number four is that the capoeiristas make their own instruments out of natural things around them which include gourd shells, wood, plants and animal skin and other natural materials. Fact number four is that a lot of capoeira is played upside down, even on mountain tops. So now we've finished our five facts, I'd like to show you some of the main Capoeira moves. This is move number one. It's called Jinga and is the most important move. This is the second move and one of my favourites. It's the headstand. tuck in your shirt like this because you're upside down a lot and you don't want it to fall open and show your belly and wear a woolly hat, hat because 
this, when you're doing a headstand, you need something soft to be on. But inside, I don't need it because I've got mats. Number three is a handstand, which in capoeira is called bandera, which means banana tree. Handstand! Handstand! <laughs> Number four is called bridge. So, this is my favourite way of getting into bridge. So, I'm here and then I step over and open up. This is bridge. And then I just flip over again. There's also, you can do a headstand and then flip into bridge. And then and also, even here, you can be a spinning top. Hello! Number five is a sequence of moves. You usually do this with a partner. Start with Jinga. Kick! Bidu Bidum Bao. Negativa. Here, here, handstand, flip, this is a wolf flip, flip, jinga, Bidu bidum bow. Negativa. Up. Ow. Negativa. Bidu bidum bow. Ow. Jinga. That's my movement. So now let's end the video with a story. This story is about how capoeira started. So, once upon a time, the British took the native Angolans to Brazil to take them slaves. And they slaved the Brazilians as well. They mainly worked on plantations of tobacco and sugarcane and in the evenings they did capoeira and then the British wanted to take over Brazil so they had a war and the native Brazilians went up to the mountain tops they knew a way not to go through the rainforest but the British were worried to go through it. And after a long, long time, the British got frustrated and just left Brazil. But it, the Brazilians still stayed on the mountaintops for a while longer just to make sure that the British didn't come back. And in all that time, they practiced capoeira. And the British did come back, but not for war, to take over. And whenever the Brazilians did capoeira, the police came. Because the government thought that the Brazilians could use capoeira to get against the government. And they would have to leave. So whenever capoeira happened... The police would come marching over on their horses to take them prisoners. The end. Oh, I just forgot something in the story. The person playing the berimbo would play it faster so it can warn other capoeiristas of the approaching danger of the police to arrest them so they could stop capoeira. See you next time. Bye!